Hey, 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 welcome to another video. This is Simi Bro. And today I'm going to show you how you can download a 3D model from Sketchfab and input it into Blender and then get it ready there and then import it to Horizon. This is from the beginning to start. I will be going a little bit faster. If you think I am going too fast, you can slow down the video so you can so you can hear it at your own pace. I'm gonna go fast because it's, I don't wanna make this video so long, but here we go. First, we have our 3D model. This is a free model. Thank you, sir. We're gonna go ahead and press download. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and choose GITF. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. So as you can see, it download. We're going to go ahead and open it. We're gonna draw everything in there. Okay. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and open our Blender app. So we're gonna go to File, Import, and we're gonna look for GITF. Down, open that, press that. I mean, press that, and then go get your file that you just download. I don't know where you saved it, but open it. And we're gonna go ahead and click on the file. I'm gonna open that and look at this big bird. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go up here to change the viewport. We can see the color and stuff like that. So, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and move this to the side so we don't see it uh, in the avatar. And also we're gonna go ahead and move it up. Um, that is present by G, Z. We're gonna look at the material here. Uh, on this so we're gonna go ahead and unclick it and we're gonna click it again it seems like everything is in one object that is very good I'm gonna go ahead to material and we're gonna look at the material here so so far it seems like it's just basic color in here um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this and we're just gonna call it bird after we name our material it's called bird. Now we're gonna go to the UV here real quick and it seems to be one beautiful picture with all of the colors there. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and press A to highlight every face in here. And as you can see here, we have highlighted pretty much everything. Oh, well, it seems like the eyes is different in here. The two different uh, uh, shapes. Yeah, that's one. But that's okay. All right, that's another one. So that should be the same one. Yep, the same one here. And then, yeah, okay. There's okay. So there's two shapes here. Um, so we need to save the materials. There's two different shapes. So let's start from the top. Uh, this one first, where we were. Okay. Go ahead and save this material PNG file. We're gonna go image, save as, and we're gonna save it somewhere that you can find it. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder inside the folder that I download. And we're just gonna call it HW for Horizon, so we can know for Horizon. All right, in here, after we come and open the folder, we're gonna go ahead and rename this. This is gonna be the same name of, the, of your material in Blender, but we will be adding a little two, three little letters on it. So we're gonna go ahead and call it the same material name. So it's gonna be bird underscore BR. BR just for basic color. Um, and then after, let's make sure we're gonna get save PNG. So that should be good there. And then we just say save. So we have that PNG file saved now. Now, because we have now, whoa. Now, because there's, a, there's two materials in here, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for that one. And then highlight all of that image, save as, go in here. And then this, we need to rename this to I, because remember, we can't have no any numbers or any other symbols in our material. So we're going to call it I. So in here, we're also going to call it I here, underscore BR. And we're going to go ahead and save that and save. All right, so we do not need to save the other I here because it's the same material as you can see. So we are done saving the materials. So now that we have our materials saved, we're gonna go ahead and make everything one object. So we're gonna highlight the the whole entire body and the two eyes. 
and we're going to select the two eyes and then we're going to right click it and press join now that we have press join look at this beautiful uh, one object now and to be honest i mean if you want your eyes to be moving around you could so you have to have them separately so that would be different uh, that would be three objects rather than one but for this case and because where I need it for horizon, it should be good to go with one object. So after we have this one object, we're gonna go ahead and save the FBX file now. We're gonna go to file, export, FBX, and then FBX, save it where you can find it with your materials. So I'm gonna save it in the same position, on the same folder that I saved my materials. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have selected because I have more objects in here. I'm gonna make sure I just wanna save this. So we are going to go ahead and one, rename this file so to call it what we need to call it. Call it bird. Now, after we name that, we're gonna go ahead and up here to the property panels to the right and press select object. Only limit to select object. I just wanna import this, that's it. So that's why I want to have that in there. Also, let's make sure the forward is Z, I mean, negative Z forward. Um, and then you can unhighlight that and then you should be good to go from there and then export. Now we have our two materials and our FBX file. Now let's start inputting it into Horizon. Let's open Horizon. Now that we are in Horizon, we're going to go ahead and import this. So we will go in, for now, I'm gonna put it in my assets. Oh, remember, save it wherever you need it. We're going to go to Add New, 3D Model, Add Files on your device. Here, you will need to open where you have them saved. In my case, it was here. And then we go in here and we have our two materials in our file. I'm gonna highlight all three of them, import and import. As you can see, it's just verifying your materials that's matching with your files. And it seems like it went through successfully all assets import. Now we're just gonna go ahead and drag this here. Oh, Drag that in there real quick and let's look at it. Look at this beautiful bird. Oh my god. Big old bird. Who's angry? Are you angry? You are. All right. I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. All right. See you in the next one. Angry birds.